Welcome back guys to another episode of No Man's Sky. Here we go. So uh, we've made a couple huge discoveries since the last episode, alright? So number one, we were wondering where the heck we could get Thamium 9 from to be able to power our pulse drives. Uh, these things right here that allow us to go super, super quick. Well, it's found in the asteroids out in space. So what do you know? That's kind of convenient if you come out here and destroy those. Ooh, we're full? We shouldn't be full yet. Oh wow, we are full on Thamium 9, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and recharge that. We'll open up a couple spots, and you guys will see if we get over here. Thamium 9. Look at that, that's beautiful, man. So uh, that's pretty huge. Now we know how to fire up those pulse drives so we can do the pulse jumps and get there really, really quick. We also found out that yes, there is a sprint button in this game. You can sprint around. There are ways to upgrade your sprint to be able to sprint longer and faster and that sort of thing. Um, but sprint is on R3, which makes no sense to me. Why would you put sprint on R3? That's the most, like, why? Put pulse, the, the pulse search on R3 and then put sprint on L3. That doesn't make any sense. These guys obviously don't play Call of Duty. So um, we do know how to sprint now, which is really, really good. Uh, what else did I find out? I found out some other stuff about like certain minerals that are better than others. Typically the shiny stuff is better than the other stuff. So like the gold that we found that was really shiny, that's worth a lot. Um, emeralds also worth a lot. There are a few other things that are worth quite a bit. So one of the tips that this guy said was to, uh, it was a Forbes article that one of you guys linked me in my email, which is awesome, thank you so much. So uh, it said that what he does is he just, he, he flies low over the planet until he finds something shiny and then he stops and he, he you know, kind of checks it out, which is uh, a good way to do things. There are ways at upgrade stations where you can upgrade your suit to give you more slots for power or for, for inventory, which we obviously really, really want. What is that blue thing down there? Is that another ship? I think that's another ship. Anyway, um, so you can do that. You can upgrade your spaceships with money. You can go into like spaceports and buy new ships and stuff. And uh, obviously those can give you more slots and they're faster and better and more powerful and that sort of thing. So there's a lot of stuff. There's still not really a point to the game. It's really about like grinding and, and getting that next cool thing. There's no real end game though. I wish there was a, if there was a multiplayer where you could go around and like take over other people's planets and fight other people and stuff like that, that would make this game 10 times better. But uh, We'll have to wait and see what happens. All right, we're 57 seconds away. You know what? We have more than enough Thamium 9. Let's just do a pulse jump. Look at that. Boom. We're already here. Shoo. Okay. So we're gonna try to get down low and see what we can see. You also, in that Forbes article, they put an emphasis on um, interacting with aliens. You really want to interact with different types of aliens because they'll give you these huge, huge, huge upgrades. Right, landing sequence. See some plutonium over there. Toxicity levels. All right, mellow weather, typical sentinels. No flora and fauna is bare. Okay, well, let's go ahead and sprint over here now that we know how. My goodness, I cannot believe. I cannot believe we played for as long as we did without knowing that. That's... <laughs> Thank you guys in the comments. That's awesome. Alright, so we got that. Oh, what the heck? Our plutonium's full. What do we charge with plutonium? I forget. Oh, the launch thrust. So I guess we don't really need any plutonium right now. What the fudge? It looked like a wound on the world, crimson and ragged edged, like something that once lived but was then torn asunder. I should have stayed away. I had the senses, or had I the senses to taste the air of this planet, I imagine it would have reeked with some kind of alien feeder, but nothing could stall my curiosity. Was it dead? Where I touched it, the surface was moist and yielding. It seemed to become motile, then crawling on a mat of slow cilia, moving from me. I should have left it alone. It's freaking creepy, dude. Nothing found. Oh, shoot. Well, I'm gonna get out of here. 
That's not what we want. What do we need to charge that up? Where's our life support? Our exosuit. We can use Thamium-9, let's go. All right, so going out in space and farming asteroids is really important, apparently. Here we go. Got a question mark over here. I don't really like this planet, dude. I'm, I'm getting weird vibes from it. I'm getting bad vibes. I'm getting really bad vibes. Phase beam laser cooldown times are significantly reduced. Operates automatically once constructed within the user's starship inventory. Okay. We need an empty slot to be able to do that. I got my gun out, man. Hearing weird sounds. All this is just going to tell us our inventory is full. Alright, I'm getting out of here. This is creeping me the heck out. Read Encyclopedia? You've learned the Gek word for Gek. Nice. Alright, we needed that. <laughs> Journey milestone accomplished. We learned five words. Nice. We're essentially a toddler at this point. An infant. Okay. What the heck are all these? Alright, we're getting out of here, boys. New planet, please. Get me the heck out. Ooh, an off-planet outpost up here. And here we go. Pulse engine offline, planetary interference. We've arrived to this outpost. I'm hoping we're going to be able to do something here. Let's see what happens. Definitely been here before. At least this planet has some, some like, life to it, you know what I mean? Alright, so we've talked to these aliens before. What's, what's over here? Bypass chip required? We don't have that. I forget what we've done here already. So I'm going to check everything out just in case. Gek word for first. Nice. Now we can uh, watch YouTube videos and know how to reply in the comment section. Did we even get this before? I need one of those trade bots. I don't think we even did this thing last time we were here. We were noobs, man. That's all right. This, yeah. New discovery. Nice. I'll take it. I need one of those trade bots where you can buy and sell things. Hello, sir. Inventory is full. I don't really have anything I want to get rid of, to be honest. I'm just looking around. We got to talk to them, though. They always give you good stuff. Apparently, talking to these aliens is one of the most important things you can do. Um, 13,000, 12,000, 26,000. Hmm. Ah, the iron, we can get rid of that. Okay. Lone creature awaits me, diminutive, beaked, unthreatening, regards to his passing curiosity. Chat is briefly in a language I cannot comprehend. Oh. I thought we took this before. Okay. FTL propulsion drive that allows the starship to attain warp speed and jump between neighboring systems. Users advised to access hyperdrive systems to the galactic map. Yeah. Um, dynamic resonator. Craft products and inventory slots. So we need one of those. We need a dynamic resonator and then we should be able to... to 
build that thing in our ship. We've got a couple of upgrades for our, our what's it called? Our ship, as well as our mining tool and stuff like that, but. I could have sworn we already did this stuff. Did it not save before? Maybe it didn't save, I'm not sure. Oh well, I'll take it. Fuel hyperdrive, travel. Oh, that's how you fuel your hyperdrive, is to travel to a... There we go, you need warp cells. So I guess space stations probably have that, that's cool. I'm also wondering if space stations have... Um, places where you can sell and buy things. Shiny. It's down here. Let's find out. All right. So it sounds like after we do a little bit of a uh, little bit of exploring on this planet, we're gonna have to go to a space station. Bypass chip needed. That's okay. I'm not too worried about it. Reload accelerant sigma. Bolt caster ammunition reload times are decreased. We need iron for that, though. Okay. Well, that's good stuff. Once we uh, purchase some more inventory slots and we have some more room to work with so we can actually upgrade stuff, I'm definitely going to... Definitely going to do that. We just don't have the inventory slots right now. Ooh, look at that animal over there. Alright. Rijinibu Marsh. I'll take it. and get all this plutonium we can. We need this for our launch thrusters to be able to get up in the air. <laughs> it was so funny. So I was telling you guys about that, um, the article I was reading on Forbes. The number one thing that he said not to do was go in caves. He said it's it's not really worth it. It's, um, you know, stay near the edges, but they're infinitely, like, generating once you get down there, and so unless you really pay attention, you're never gonna get out. I thought that was really, really funny because we got that lesson firsthand as soon as we spawned in the game. We need a more efficient launch thruster. Taking 25% of our fuel for every launch is a bit ridic. A bit ridic. All right, off planet space station. We're definitely gonna be checking that out next. Search for shiny stuff around here. See if we can find anything good. Take another one of these things. The question is, who built all this stuff? Like, who came through and set up all these different pods all over the place? And then just left them there. Ooh, nice. Range boost. Scanner's detection range is increased. Powerful output modulator filters local information from an increased distance into user's visualization systems. Operates automatically once constructed within the user's multi-tool inventory. We should probably use that more. Go ahead and scan now, see if we find anything. Ooh. What are those things? We're going to have to go check those out. Nothing in here. Right. Making progress, boys. Every single day we're going to start learning more about this game, figuring it out more. I'm glad you guys are watching. I know it's uh, a little bit different of a game, but I'm having fun with it. It's, it's like Minecraft. I remember when Minecraft first came out, everybody was like, oh, well, this is dumb. There's no point in playing this game. Ooh. This, this looks interesting. What is that thing? The blue. Is that Iridium? Yes! Let's go. Wanna 
we go for these rare minerals, man. Just like you're looking for diamond and gold. Shoot. Well, that was pretty good. Let's scan again. There's more iridium over there. More iridium over there. Ooh, what's that? What is that? We need to find out what all these symbols mean. Ooh. Weird, crazy looking animals. Alright. Well, I say we hop back in the ship and uh, continue on searching for stuff on this planet. Ooh, shoot. Had a little bit of a rough landing there. Let's see what else we can find up here. Ooh, let me hit that. Nice. Alright. Uh, launch thruster. Okay. Ooh, what is this stuff? Hold on. Hold on. May have found something of interest. Copper. Is copper... Hmm. What can we get rid of? Zinc? Probably zinc. Oh man, that takes up a slot forever. I thought it would just overlay over our other slot. Wow, that sucks. I thought it would just overlay over our other slot. Man, that's crazy. Oh, you know what? We need to switch something from our suit over. So we'll send... I don't know. It doesn't matter. We're going to keep all of it anyway. Let's see how much this copper is worth. So two copper. 220 units. I think... I feel like copper is kind of rare. Pro tip for you guys, if you look at our heat meter up in the top right, let go when it's at like 80%, give it like half a second, and then you can press it again, and it goes back all the way down to, to neutral. Don't let it overheat. Oh shoot, I didn't wait long enough there. We definitely need more storage slots, man. Got a lot of copper right there. Looks like there's some more over here. Life support's down to 50%. That's not good. Let's try to get the rest of this. We may have to bounce out. Let's see how much this is. Is this even worth anything? I can't tell. 14, ah, uh, yeah, it's it's worth quite a bit. Okay, you know what? We're going to fill up this entire copper slot before we go anywhere. So, uh, I'm going to come back once we're done mining this. I feel like mining's pretty boring to watch. Uh-oh, want to watch out for Mama and her cubs. I guess they're more scared of us. All right, you know what I want to do? Watch this. That one might be too high. We'll find out. Oh my gosh, let's go. And look at that, we're off the planet so our toxicity is stabilizing. And we can just sit here and spin in circles. Let's go. I was nervous, dude. If we wouldn't have made that jump, we might have died right there. But we got it. Forgot about our overheating. Dude, this is how you do it on the floaties. We could even probably land our ship on one of these things and just slowly take it down. We should be close to uh having this thing filled. Hopefully 
for this army. Oh yeah. We're getting there. 248 out of 250. And that's gonna be it. Yeah. Oof. Yikes. We just barely in the, the nick of time made that. Alright, nice. Where's our where do you refuel that? Oh, multi tool. Mining beam. Charge that with some plutonium. Oh, look at all the technology we can make for this. Mining beam laser is strengthen the speed up terrain destruction. Faster mining beam processing high uh, resource rich materials. Dude, we've gotta upgrade all this stuff. Dang it. I want more slots. This is it's killing me to have so few slots. Alright, here we go. Little blue plant? Why is platinum in plant form? It's kind of weird, isn't it? Alright, here we go. We're gonna head back to the ship. So, anyway, I hope you. Ooh, is this more platinum? Yes, sir. Look at it. Is platinum worth a lot? Dude, there's so much. This is a really good planet. I think we might have to have to stay here for a little bit. Where's our platinum over here? Uh, it's not the most... It's not the best substance in the world, but it's not bad either. Here, grab that. Some more over here. Look at that, boys. We have our nice little G side down pretty good. Let's see if there's some more over here. Okay. Anything else of interest? See, shiny blue over here. It's just iron. Alright. That's gold? Yes, please. Are you kidding me? No! How? Our gold isn't full. So that's what gold looks like when it's not in deposited form, like the, the form that we found before. All right, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. We're definitely starting to figure this out a little bit more. We just need to find out how to get more inventory slots. That's our biggest our biggest issue at the moment. So we are going to go up to the space station. We're going to refuel for our, um, our what's it called? I'm planet space station. We're going to refuel our, our warp drive thingy. And... Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. We actually, we might come back to this planet. Whatever planet that was, the one, actually, you know what? Let me jump out of this. What was behind us? What's behind us? Yer, yim, 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 vabade, vishful. All right, you guys remember that for the next episode because we'll probably end up coming back before we hyperdrive out of this, uh, this system because we, uh, we found some good stuff there. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out.